Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, here we will be working on a Chevy Cruze, guys. And if you have, guys, problems with your instrument cluster not working, not turning on, doesn't mean that it's burnt. It could be just a bad fuse, guys, and we'll show you which fuse to check. Now, we you guys have more than 200 videos on this car. Why, guys? Because our goal is to save you as much money as we can by teaching you guys how to fix your car for free. So, please, guys, in addition, okay, all we need in return, please give a subscribe, like, and drop a comment below and let us know what you think, guys, about the channel, uh, if you have any suggestions, and if the video was helpful or not. All the, all the electrical videos will be on this channel, the mechanical videos will be on auto repair, guys. This is our uh, main channel, guys. So, let's go ahead, open the hood quick. I'm going to show you something now. Okay, we'll support it here. And uh, you have a fuse box that's located right here. Doesn't matter if uh, which engine you have. Fuse box is right here, but unfortunately the fuse for the instrument cluster is not there. Let me show you if I go inside, guys. Okay, I'm going to turn the ignition on. Okay, this is the key. I'll put it in. Okay, the info screen comes up. The cluster doesn't work at all. So what is causing that now, guys? Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I would recommend to disconnect your car battery, okay, when you're replacing that fuse, but we're not going to, just so we can make the video quicker, but uh, don't take any chances, guys. Disconnect your car battery. So. Right here, you have a fuse box on the left side next to your steering wheel. Okay, and pull that thing down. Now we need to locate fuse, guys. Okay, it's called uh, fuse number 21. 15M fuse. Fuse number 21. So looking at the fuse box now. Okay, looking at the fuse box, it will be this fuse. Okay, right here. So even if you have an empty spot, look like we have on the bottom, it's one. Two, three, four, five, sixth one from the bottom up on the very right side. So I will go ahead, pull that fuse out. Check out guys in the description of the video below where we buy our replacement fuses from for a really really good price guys. They're amazing deal. Also you can get a, a really good voltmeter that you can even test your fuses with it. Super simple. Because sometimes, okay this one you can definitely tell that it's burnt. Okay, check it out. But in some cases, it's really, really hard to know. So what I will do, I will set the voltmeter on ohms and continuity testing. And if the fuse is good, it will be like touching these two LEDs together. We are going to get, okay, let me touch them, zero reading. Because there will be continuity between the two terminals. Now, I'm going to touch the fuse here and check out. Absolutely nothing. Let me grab the new fuse now. Okay, and show you what the new fuse will look like if we test it. And make sure you stay until the end to see how the cluster will start working. This one, guys, perfect. It works. So, I'll go ahead now. Install it here. Okay, gotta make sure that you install it in the same slot that you removed it, right? Okay, perfect. Now, if I, don't forget to install your cover lighter, if I turn the ignition on, even on the first position, the cluster will start working, you can see. So that's definitely taking care of that problem, guys. Please subscribe to the channel, guys, for more help. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.